Hey, Wayne here with the KBO Compact. It's a foldable bike. Brand new from KBO. Let's check it out. <laughs> oh, I knew it was gonna happen eventually. I wanna take a second to thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Occasionally I give away some of these bikes and e-scooters and other things and I review other things as well so do me a favor subscribe and hit the uh, bell icon to be notified when I put out new videos I believe this is the third bike that I have from KBO the first being the cargo bike the second being a foldable bike and then this is a foldable bike with a very wide step through area so this is really easy to get on and off if you have trouble with that. Birds. <laughs> quack, quack. Yeah, so I'm gonna put links down below so you could check out the KBO cargo bike and the other step through bike from them that I re uh, recently reviewed. You check those out, they're, they're pretty cool. This one has a removable battery, 48 volt, 15.6 amp hour lithium ion battery. Has a range of about 55 miles and of course that's going to vary depending on how you ride, the terrain that you're riding on, and the payload that you put on. Which by the way, this, uh, this bike can carry up to a 350 pound payload. This bike weighs 68.3 pounds. It has a big 750 watt hub motor, Shimano 7 speed shifter and derailleur. The tires are 20 by 4 inch wide tires. They're nice and big fat tires. You could probably take this on pretty much any terrain, like this or like this. The recommended height for riders is about 5'2 to 6'3. The handlebar is extremely adjustable. You can adjust the height and you can adjust the angle that the handlebar is in. The handlebar is extremely adjustable. You can adjust it just by simply pulling these levers and you can raise the height on it. You can change the angle of the handlebar. Very adjustable. You don't get that on a lot of bikes. So it comes with front suspension that you can lock out for street riding, loosen it up, for a more rougher terrain. Doesn't have rear suspension. However, the, the seat seems to have a suspension post on it. You can uh, kind of feel it bouncing up and down a little bit. So that again is something I, I have never gotten for free on a bike before. The seat also has a lever on it that you can pull up on and it'll make the seat flop forward. So that way you can take the the battery out if you want to bring it in the house to charge it so for any reason you need to remove the battery it's a lot easier than it used to be you don't have to remove the seat as well you could just flip the seat up the LCD is decent you can see it during the day at night so some of the displays on some of the stuff I've have can't see but you can see this one this bike has a thumb throttle as opposed to a twist throttle so depending on what, which kind you like. I like both, either are fine with me. But if you have a preference, I just wanna let you know that this has a thumb throttle. It's got a front light that's integrated with the display. You just press the power, uh, the plus button down and hold it and the light will turn on. The rear light, you have to manually press a button underneath it to turn it off and on. So don't forget to turn it on, don't forget to turn it off. I wish it was integrated. That's one thing. I really like integrated lights. I don't like to have to remember anything. And when it's not on, it works well as a reflector. So still helpful either way. The front fender and rear fender along with the rear rack, that's all included. So that comes with the bike. You don't have to purchase that extra. And the bike comes in two colors, red and what they call cool gray which is what I'm on today so I like this as a, as a folding bike it's nice and big lots of space right here for you to step through 
It's got a lot of power, big 750 watt motor. Um, the only thing, if I were to pick on it, is once you slow down a bit, the, the motor will shut off and it will take a few revolutions to get the motor to engage again. Okay, I'm in third gear and uh, mode one. I'm gonna take off and see how long before the motor kicks in. There, it just kicked in. I'd like it if it kicked in a little bit quicker, but that's okay. It is a cadence sensor bike, meaning there is some ghost pedaling. When you get up to the higher speeds, you, you can't really keep up with it pedaling. You just pedal like this to maintain your speed. So that means this would be a great bike for people that don't want to pedal. You could just throttle all the time, or you could just pedal slowly, easy, don't hurt yourself, and the bike will just keep going. So, you know, it's not a torque sensor bike where you have to put more into it to go. Now I prefer hydraulic brakes, but you can't go wrong with mechanical brakes. So these are 180 millimeter mechanical disc brakes, and that's fine for this bike. You don't really need more than that. So foldable bikes are really good for people that don't have a lot of, a lot of space to store them, uh, whether it's at home or maybe you use it to get back and forth to work. So once you're in the office, you don't have a lot of room. This is good. You can still take this bike, fold it up, throw it in a corner somewhere. For my full written review, take a look at my website, spiderwayne.com. I'll leave a, a link down below to that. That site will also have more specs on it and information about the bike. Let's get it out the box and put together. Charger. Pedals and tools. Okay, so the first thing I would do is install the handlebar. Now, the stem has a sort of like a plastic spacer in here with a little bit of a bump inside, a bead. And that part will go against this part of the stem right here. So this has an indentation. What I would do is go ahead and line these up together Push the handlebars in there at least a bit and lock it down. And finally, I would raise it up and lock it in place. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to swing the front end out and lock it down. But first, just to be safe, I'm going to put the kickstand down and now I'll swing it out. Once you have the frame in place, all you have to do now is press this lever over, making sure that this snaps into place. Now it's locked. For the pedals, you have a right that screws on clockwise, and you have a left that screws on counterclockwise. Just keep that in mind when you're doing the left side. For this right side, simply get it in there, screw it on clockwise. When you're done, just take a 15 millimeter wrench and tighten it up a little bit and then remember to do the same thing on the left side screwing it in counterclockwise and the pedals are done okay a quick thing on the battery you can do a battery check by pressing this button and you can see that this does not have very much of a charge so we're going to want to charge that up before we take it out for a ride but let me show you also how to get it out of the bike in case you want to take the battery inside to charge it okay to put the seat in you're going to slide it into the stem here Get it to the right desired height, close that clamp, and if you wanna take the battery out while you're at it, you can press this lever to lift the, or to move the seat over, put the key in, turn it all the way to the left, grab the handle, and pull it out. Now, if you wanna put it back in, slide it down, make sure it's seated well, turn the key back to the right, remove it, put the seat down, and you're done. One of the last things you're gonna to wanna to do is peel this 
this film off of the display controller, maneuver it into place. There is a three millimeter screw that you need to tighten up, but a warning, um, do not over tighten. This is just plastic. And if you tighten too much, you'll break it and have to contact KBO and get another one. So you don't want to do that. So just tighten it up to, to where it's snug and leave it be. Make sure to remove the plastic so that the rear light works. Once you remove that plastic, you'll need to turn it on by pushing this button underneath. Otherwise, it's just a reflector. So it's not really a, like a brake light where you squeeze that handle and you get a brake light. It's just a light that's on all the time. If you like this bike and you want to get one, please use my links down below. It doesn't cost you anything extra to use them. Grab yourself one today, get out there and ride, and I'll see you on the next one.